I'm Ollie Gardner from Unbounce, and in this video series, I'll show you how to use fundamental design principles to increase the conversions of your landing pages. Whether you're a marketer, designer, copywriter, just a business person, it doesn't matter, because when you understand how design works, you can get more clicks, more leads, more conversions, and more sales from the traffic you're sending to your landing pages. And I'll show you exactly how to do it. The design principle of contrast. This one's awesome. Now, you may have seen a case study on a blog post about an A-B test where a red button performed better than a green button. It got more clicks, more conversions. This is what it looked like. Is it because the red was so attractive? No, it's because of the contrast. It was a green page. So the green button was virtually invisible. Here, green page, red button, it stands out because of the contrast the color contrast more specifically. And you may see the case study where Google increased conversions by testing a gazillion different shades of blue to find the perfect one. Well, if you have the amount of traffic Google has, then good luck, run a test like that and see if you can make a difference. You won't. Don't follow those types of example when you're trying to optimize for conversion. Not to mention that 6% of men are colorblind. Contrast can have a big, impact on readability, sometimes negatively. There's a great tool, it's called the Contrast Ratio Calculator. It will allow you to determine the contrast between a foreground element, such as your headline or a button, and the background, which might be a background image or a solid color, or it could be a background video. Background video being the worst candidate for causing contrast problems. There's a cool tool called the Contrast Ratio Calculator. You can put in the color of your background and maybe your headline that's above it or a button to determine the ratio between one and the other, particularly text, because readability is really important. And you want to get around a score of about 14. 21 is the best, you don't need to worry about that. Anything above seven is good, 14 is kind of really good. I'd advise you to use the calculator and see what the contrast ratio is between your headline and the background of your landing page. Here's an example of contrast gone wrong. NHL.com homepage. You'll see it has one of those promo sliders. You can click through to get different news stories. Well, they've been shown many times to either not have a positive impact on conversion or negatively impact it. Very common that people won't interact with it. They won't get to that second, third, fourth slide that you hope they'll get to particularly when you can't find the navigation. Now, on this example, there is a previous and next arrow, and they're both white. Why is that a problem? Well, for starters, this is hockey, ice hockey. Everything's white. So if you want to have white arrows on a white background, you're not going to see them. Can you see them on here? It's really hard. There were seven slides in this carousel. Six of them were white. Only this one, you could see them. That's how important contrast is and how easily you can negatively impact the user experience if you don't do it correctly. You can see here, I, there's a lot of contrast here. The white on black, very stark contrast, which is why it stands out so much. And you may also have noticed along the color contrast spectrum that these flowers get a lot of your attention because this is all fairly flat in color. It's neutral, it's black and white and this just really stands out. That's the positive impact that contrast can have when you're trying to use the principle to make people pay attention to what they should be doing on your landing page. I'm going to jump into the Unbounced Landing Page Builder and I'll show you some examples of good and bad uses of contrast so you can see how to measure the contrast, how to get it wrong, but also how to fix it if you see you do have a problem. Inside the Unbounced Landing Page Builder, now the principle of contrast. If you look at this button here, it's a ghost button. I'll be talking about that in a lot more depth in the affordance video, but for now, if you just look at this, the button's kind of hidden because of the transparency in it. It's just a line. So this is really simple. I have our standard button color from this page. That's right down here, that 1AC6FF. All I'm going to do with this, it already has that, but it's got some opacity set to make it transparent. I'm just going to do that. Now you can see it really stands out compared to the ghost button version, but it's still mixing in with the background a little bit. I'm just gonna get black to illustrate. Now it has 
a lot of contrast compared to the background because none of those colors are being mixed in and it's very clear that's the call to action it's right in my face the contrast ratio between this and the background is way higher making it stand out a lot more allowing it to be more readable that's another landing page design principle you have in your toolkit so please try them out on your landing pages you'll improve the clarity you'll improve the impact of the design and ultimately increase conversions i recommend you check out unbounce.com you can follow me on twitter ollie gardner click that link up there it will take you to a preview of the unbounce landing page builder you can play around with it see how easy it is to use apply some of the design principles I've been teaching you and you'll have higher converting landing pages in no time. You can check out more landing page design videos down below. If you're watching on YouTube, go to the landingpagecourse.com where I'll teach you a whole bunch more about high impact, high converting landing pages.